Hello ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show back once again on September 30th with the next PlayStation 4 update process. For you guys today, we got the PS4 update called Kenshin, aka 3.0. So let's go ahead and go through the update process for you guys live to see if I run into any issues with the update. If you guys have been a long time PlayStation fan from the Vita to the PSP to PlayStation 3, you guys have known that the PS4 and the PlayStation systems in general have sometimes have big issues when you update these consoles. And I always like to record myself doing update process live and give you guys some help to know if there's any issues I personally run into. As you guys have seen in my previous videos on the topic with the version 2.50, there was some problems fixed. And before that, guys, we had issues where people couldn't get online. We had friends that couldn't actually talk in parties. There was a bunch of different issues, but hopefully this new software update from Sony is not going to run into any of these problems. Now, there is some stuff to note about this new update, guys. I'm going to be going through most of the features that are incorporated into this update um, in this video right here and then I'm gonna be going into an individual basis as well so guys the update process is gonna not take too long for the download because it is only 250 mem megabytes so that's not really too much data right there guys so it's gonna be a pretty quick download installation as you guys see right here it's not gonna take too long and what is incorporated with this brand new update is if you're a PlayStation Plus user, you will get from one gig all the way up to 10 gigs of online storage. So that 10 gigabyte of online storage is definitely gonna help people actually back up their saves because save data is becoming pretty damn big for these new console because just the, the files are just huge sometimes. The files are just huge. What else gets added in this new PlayStation 4 update is the ability to share video clips to Twitter. So now you actually can record gameplay clips and share up to 10 seconds of that clip directly to Twitter. I'm definitely going to be using this feature immensely. So hopefully this is going to be a great new feature. Um, you're going to be able to stream to YouTube live. So currently you can only stream on Twitch, but right after updating the system, I should be able to stream right to YouTube using YouTube gaming, which is YouTube's new feature for live streaming. Um, there's improved messaging and friends groups. There's improved stuff for like messages with stickers. So now you're gonna be able to use stickers. And there's a community feature as well, where you're gonna be able to create communities, like say I'm gonna create the Untitled Game Show community. And after I do that, I should be able to invite you guys to that community to play games with me. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do right after going through this update process right here, after my system goes ahead and rebuilds the database and you know, get the health and safety the information and the system software version 3.0 install so right there guys it has gone through okay right now we're getting a little wavy screen i hope it doesn't get stuck at the screen right now because i'm kind of nervous right here okay there we go Ooh, kept me a little nervous right there for a few seconds i was kind of i was kind of having like a yeah, you've been invited to join a community uh you've been invited to join the trophy hunters community you've been invited to join the small youtubers gaming community you <laughs> see what i'm saying guys my friends my subscribers thank you guys for all the invites for the communities of course i'm going to go ahead and make an untitled game show community as soon as possible and then invite you guys to that as right away as well also i forgot to mention events events is a new thing tab right here where you're gonna be able to see what's gonna be happening with the playstation network you know new events in for different games it goes all by games so these are all new features i'm gonna go through all these individually and give you guys an in-depth look at all these separately but i just want to go through the update process immediately with you guys and just show you guys how that actually does work so next thing guys i'm gonna go ahead and create an untitled game show fan community and i hope all you guys in the comment section below will join me let me know if you guys want to add me and join me my psn name is big beaky till next time if you have any questions about this update any issues whatsoever ask me in the comment section below i have a lot of experience with these updates and i usually could be able to help people out till then peace out guys